Lars, Jozef en ik, wij willen graag ja, samen een reis maken. The nice thing is, it started here in the UK. Eh? Uh, Asta Philpot made, made uh, this documentary about his own experience going to, to Spain. And, uh, which was seen in Belgium by Mariano van Hoofd, a, a producer. And uh, he has a company together with the, with the di Georgian director. And they uh, he told him, yeah, I saw an interesting documentary last night. And Geoffrey said, yeah, it would make a nice, nice feature film. They had this nice idea to come to me and ask me if I want to write a screenplay. I said, nice idea because it's, it was such a gift to, to get to be given such a, a story. So I. I pretended to have to think about it, which of course I didn't, and I almost immediately said yes, I very much would like to tell this story. That's funny. Had you ever had a woman before, Joseph? The wine route. The wine route. I want to know how that feels, a woman's life. Complex. I was sex. I was pooping. My character, uh, Philip, is a stubborn uh, guy who has a, a goal in his mind, and he, uh, whatever it takes, he will achieve it. Uh, and sometimes that uh, that makes him a total asshole. Joseph uh, has the, his heart on the right place, and uh, um, he sees like the the world in a different way. It's it's all it's it's better in his eyes in his world. Can I toch moeilijk aan mijn ouders vragen om mij naar bordeel te voeren in Spanje? Mama and Papa, they will not know, but we are going to When I first read Lars, I, I uh, immediately fell in love with him because I, I thought it was... A, it's one of those parts you, you really want to play. But but also it, it was uh, it was very challenging because it, the, um, the, Lars is affected by a disease in the movie and his two, well, guys, uh, uh, which he, he, he tags along with, uh, who become his best friends, they want to seize the world and seize the day and go on a nice trip. And, and maybe for Lars it's his last trip, it might be the, 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 the he doesn't know. He doesn't know where he's, where he's going. He doesn't know if he has a, a, a long life to live. So, so um, it was challenging in that way that I had the feeling my character had to go through another process and maybe play in another movie than the other two characters. So he's on another energy vibe. I treated them just like I would treat any other character and think that's that's the only the only honest thing to do. Not 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 to be too careful about them or to be too correct about them. Just just to portray them with their with their also their ugly traits and and their prejudices against against this Claude, which is is not the, the woman they they want to see or they want to have with them on the uh, so so. But I think that only makes them and human and and. That's the way to treat them respectfully. One of the main discussions that we had uh, around the table before shooting that was uh, how far will we go uh, uh, in the drama, how far will mm -hmm. we go in the humor. So, so it was really quite like, um, uh, yeah, get, getting along and, 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 um, and knowing if we wanted to shoot the same mm -hmm. movie. That was one of the main, main, uh, main discussions we had, the most important thing to find the right, the right tone of voice. To tell the yeah, story, and, and uh, exactly, and sometimes I hear <laughs> I've seen the movie quite a lot, but you still have these moments when you you hear Philip say things about about Claude. When I say it to him, I say, oh, "Wow, this is really ugly." Did you write it? Yes, I did <laughs> write it. This is uh, okay. We had the the wheelchair one month in front because it's uh, sponsored and so <laughs> it, it's really expensive. But really, it's really expensive. <laughs> uh, and I practiced like in in, in, in in my neighborhood. I went to the shop. I, I wanted wheelies. to see people. Yeah, 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 wheelies. Yeah, yeah, it's really, yeah, you can do wheelies. Uh, um, I wanted to see how people would re respond to how it is. Try, try to feel how it is. Um, so I could take that, I could take that frustration uh, a little bit into my character so I could uh, relate to how how stubborn and how frustrated sometimes he, he my character is to be such an asshole to other people and it was it was quite hard uh, and to feel the the pity of people for most people they think oh yeah poor poor you and you feel the pity regard and there's nothing you cannot fight pity because it's you can say, don't look like that, but then you're angry, so it's really hard to defend yeah. yourself if you uh, get a, 
attacked by pity. In Belgium, because we live there, um, uh, it opened a lot of debate around uh, around being disabled, sexuality and being yeah. disabled. Uh, the fact that they interviewed a lot of uh, a lot of us and we were in papers, it's 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 all good uh, to tell that story. I